Hi, I am Akshara Damle, a psychologist and a trainer. And uh, in this time of pandemic, when we are hit by second wave, I understand that a lot of us are going through many types of mental health vulnerabilities. Many of us are experiencing fear. Some of us are experiencing anxiety. And some of us are confused what to do. And some for some people the future appears a little dark. There are people who are extremely stressed and people are also going through sleeplessness. These are all our reactions or responses to the pandemic. Now the question is how do we do we deal with it? Especially as you all as UPSC aspirants. I understand that you need a lot of mental strength to sit and study. On the one side, you are already going through this fear, anxiety with regard to the exam because the exam itself is a very uncertain thing. You never know what is the level of question that they will ask. You never know whether you have finished the syllabus because the syllabus is so vast and uh, you're already going through these kind of questions confusions and turmoils in your mind the nature has thrown one more challenge to you i presume that this is the best time for you to build your resilience so that when you become officers you will not be in a difficult situation because you already have faced it hence if you are feeling fearful if you are anxious it's okay it's not abnormal per se but what you need to do is try to figure out where the fear is coming from where the anxiety is coming from where what is making you sleepless for example i understand you all have to read newspaper every day of course a lot of us as mental health practitioners suggest to avoid exposure to media if you are vulnerable but as a matter of fact as a part of preparation you need to read newspapers every day and in the newspapers you will get to see the numbers of how many people have got admitted how many people have got uh uh gone into icu and many other things and how many people have also lost their lives it's not just reading in newspaper but i also understand this time the second wave has hit many of us in our close circles in fact i wanted to make this video almost 2 to 3 weeks ago but i was also dealing with many people who are suffering who were suffering from uh, covid because of which i couldn't sit comfortably and make this video well i'm sure a lot of you might have got extremely happy that oh the, finally the exam has got postponed now i have got more time to study i can read whatever the books that were left out because of uh, lack of time all these things are very normal but at the same time they are also illusions every student will feel that if i get one extra day i will read all those books so that i will be more prepared every student will feel that it is just about few days that are required so that he or she will be able to complete the syllabus it is a misnomer how much ever the days that you get you your preparation will be the same your preparation will not go to another level altogether unless you are following this discipline unless you are disciplined you will not be able to cover the things in a right way and because of that what will happen is you will end up thinking the same even as you all know that the exam has already got postponed to the month of october 
by the end of september you will still feel can i get another one month i can finish it off so this is a natural and normal process that happens to many of the aspirants maybe a few exceptions are there but what i suggest is don't think that okay i have so many days in my hand i have almost 3 3 and 1/2 months in my hand so i can relax a bit this is a big problem a lot of people miss out the momentum which they were because they have got extra time and as a as a consequence people lose out their study cycle hence please follow this discipline ensure that you do physical exercise every day at least for half an hour and sit for studying and don't get up at least for next 3 hours make a time table of 3 hours slot so that you will be able to focus into the syllabus or the subject or the topic that you are studying which will make you more concentrated because as you might have also have experienced by now that the moment you sit to study you will not gain that concentration you will need some time to warm up your mind once that warming up is, has happened then you can slowly get into the subject go deeper or go horizontal whatever you want and then understand the intricacies of that topic and then you also need to cool down this is i mean mental exercise or studying is also very similar to physical exercise you need to warm up you need to do the core exercise and then you also need to cool down cool down is all about just revisiting all the information that you have gone through in those uh, hours so this will help you in enhancing the effectiveness of your study and at the same time diversify yourself please read some other books as well not just the only syllabus syllabus don't just stick on to the syllabus you can read some novels you can read some uh, other fictions or you can read some other story books read some other books or maybe some histor- historical books whatever you want or non fiction books also some people may find it very useful to read some research papers all right read whatever you want but something apart from the syllabus or only don't stick only to the upsc thing what are the things to do this is very very important and be very careful in listening to this i want you all to focus on whatever i'm saying right now because this will ensure that you do not lose the momentum study every day as if you have an exam in next 2 to 3 days yes i am mentioning as 2 to 3 days because i don't believe in studying on the previous day and I, i know that for the fact that most of you have studied on the previous day or on the previous night for your exam final exam during your during your graduation times but that doesn't work in upsc upsc is a long term strategy and you have to finish the syllabus uh a kind of by breaking it into pieces and bit by bit and that is when you will be able to finish though there is nothing like finishing the syllabus at least finishing the core areas of the syllabus hence please don't think of studying on the previous day in kannada there is a very nice saying yuddha kale shastra abhyasa that doesn't work in upsc if you have to be an achiever in upsc you have to be consistently studying throughout the journey i also would like to share one formula that i have created for all those who are studying that is called as trump formula t stands for thinking whatever you want to study whatever the topic that you would like to study just ask questions before even even before getting into the topic what is it why is it where is it how is it and any number of questions that come to your mind when you look at that topic once that is done then start understanding the topic by reading the lesson 
so once you understand the topics you have questions in your mind already which will make you to focus and get the answers when you are in an inquisitive mode and finding the answers that is when you will remember those things better the third aspect is memorizing i have you if you have notice i have missed the r in the trump formula that is to be put in the end so the third aspect is memorizing and memory is not memorizing is not by heart memorizing is understanding the subject in a systematic way and putting it into your mind or in 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 the long term memory so that you will be able to remember it any time of your life so that is what is memorizing for that you can adopt different techniques and one of the simplest techniques and one of the techniques that i strongly believe is level of processing approach in psychology this uh, approach has been very uh, deeply dealt when i talk about level of processing approach it is all about how much you process the information if you are processing the information to a very deep level that is when you will be able to remember that information much better so please focus on level of processing approach where you will process the information piece by piece into multiple dimensions or into multiple angles that is when you will be able to remember that information in intact the p stands for practice it's not just about reading assimilating and memorizing it's also about how do you how do you have to express that information if you have to appear in an objective exam as you have to appear in prelims then you have to practice it in in the same way if you have to appear for mains then you have to practice it in the same way you will have to write things down so that you will be able to bring the information out in the systematic way as it is required for the exam and finally revision is the key unless you revise n number of times and when i'm saying n number of times it's not just two three two times or three times it can be multiple times it can be 10 times 15 times 20 times the more you revise the better you remember the more you revise you are you are ensuring your success in upsc so please ensure that you do not miss out on revision a lot of students commit this mistake they read very dedicatedly in a very disciplined manner for all the books or all the reference materials that they have to read but they miss out on revision because of which at the end of the day they know it but they do not know it and if you are in this state it doesn't work for prelims for sure even one small small minute thing is missed out from your mind then you may not be able to pick the right answer so please follow this trump formula and last but not the least stay healthy sleep well drink lot of water and one more important thing please don't worry about what others are studying it is none of your business study 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 whatever you want to study